Hi there, good morning. This is McLeod Ganj, also sometimes called Dharamshala, but uh, Dharamshala is actually the larger town that is down the hill there, which I guess is where this uh, gondola is going and coming from. I'm not sure how old it is, but it must be relatively new. This is my third time to McLeod Ganj. The last time was in 2014, almost a decade ago, and this was definitely not there at the time. My hotel is just up the hill right there. I thought that I would start this tour with the Dalai Lama's palace. Let's uh, go get closer. Lakar, a day as a Tibetan. So, the Dalai Lama is the leader of Tibetan Buddhism. After China invaded Tibet in 1950, then many of the leaders of Tibetan Buddhism fled to escape persecution from the Chinese. They went on an epic quest, you could say, journey over the... Uh, Himalayas from Tibet into India and settled here in various parts of India, but uh, the Dalai Lama ended up here at McLeod Ganj and this is his home base. When he is actually here, I'm not sure if he is in town now or not. Of course, he travels a lot. Hello. Okay, is this... It, uh, Lama. Dalai Lama yeah, Palace, is, thank yeah. you. Okay. This is it. So, there is a power outage in effect at the moment, which of course is common in India. Look at that. That is one of the reasons to come to the Cloud Ganj, the Himalayas. There are treks you can do here, Triund. I am definitely going to do that trek again. I did it the last time that I was here. You catch a rickshaw just a few miles or whatever up and then start hiking and end up up there much closer to the uh, incredible Himalaya mountains. But for today, I thought that I would just do a tour of McLeod Ganj and some of the other uh, villages around here. We'll see where I end up, but there is uh, Dharamkot and Bagsu. There's a lot to see and do in the area. So we'll see how the uh, power outage might possibly affect things. Okay, we have a sign, way to temple. I guess it's open, but uh, shouldn't be too much of a factor for the plans today because I'm just going to hike around. Looks like they have power here, so maybe because of a generator. And I am in. It was free. There was a security check. Look at this. I'm assuming that is Lhasa. The capital of Tibet. It is pretty sad that I can go there, but the Dalai Lama who is from there cannot because he would be very quickly captured by the Chinese, I'm sure. Hasn't been back since he left I guess more than 60 years ago. So I'm not exactly sure uh, what there is to see here. I'm sure that there are meditation classes and teachings, but uh, I'm just going to take a quick look and then keep the tour going.
So there he is, the 14th Dalai Lama. So when the Dalai Lama dies, then they search for his reincarnation, basically, is how it works as far as the succession of the Dalai Lamas. So it is believed that all of the Dalai Lamas are the same person, so to speak, or the same soul reincarnating. And then, uh, once the uh, current one dies, then they wait a few years, I guess, for him to uh, reincarnate and then go through a very complicating process, I guess, involving, not sure exactly, but astrology and consulting with various uh, Tibetan teachers, etc., to find the new Dalai Lama. So that is the Buddha. So the Dalai Lama is the leader of Tibetan Buddhism. So that, you know, school of teaching of Buddhism, not all of Buddhism, of course, is Tibetan Buddhism. Okay, now let's go see more of McLeod Ganj and beyond. A hike up the hill here. There are a lot of hills around here. We are basically at the base of the Himalayas, as you could see at the beginning and also right here. You're looking out at the plains of India south and then the mighty Himalayas to the north. So you can see there, Little Lhasa Bookshop. Lots of references to Tibet around here. So I am on my way up the hill, walking through the uh, main bazaar. So something to keep in mind when booking a hotel here in McLeod Ganj is how much hiking do you want to do to get to the center of town, which is just a few minutes away now. But uh, basically you have the center of town, which I will be showing soon, which is a relatively flat area. And then it's mostly down hills or up hills from there. So there are hotels up there and then I actually passed my hotel just down there and then you have this rectangle of the market streets including this and then back up that way and so I will walk that way next but I want to show this other street here, which is once again downhill, and there are a lot of hotels down here. So the uh, first time that I came to McLeod Ganj in 2012, then I hadn't booked ahead of time, as I generally uh, didn't do back then. I would just show up and generally uh, find somebody at the bus station who uh, owned a hotel and was looking for customers or you just walk around and check them out. But uh, anyways, in that case, then uh, somebody was at the uh, bus station when I arrived on the bus coming from Delhi and offered a room. And so I went with them and I believe that we went down this road here and then kept going down and down and then we went off the uh, 
main road down the mountain. You can kind of see there, it's like super steep. And then went down there a ways, so hello. In that case then, it was quite a hike to get up to the middle of town. So uh, that is something to keep in mind, especially if you're booking online in advance and looking at a map. And on the map, it might look like you're just a uh, short ways from the center, which might be the case, but it could be a short but very steep hike. So you can see all the Tibetan prayer flags. And the Himalayas kind of poking up there. So now the yeah, plan is to go back up that way and then continue around that way. And there is Darumkot and Bagsu. I forget exactly how far away they are, but uh, within a relatively short walk, but... So those are little uh, villages that you can stay in and be away from the busier town of McLeod Gond and have quite a, a peaceful experience in a very pleasant town. Okay, we have dogs and monkeys. Getting all excited here. It's just funny that they think they're actually going to somehow get to the monkey eventually. Never gonna happen. Good luck, guys. You'll get them eventually. In your dreams. Okay, let's get back up to the top. So, continuing through the center of town here. Really interesting, uh market area, lots of selection of restaurants, club and lounge, massage chairs, Tibetan and Italian dishes, interesting combination, shopping, henna, hello, namaskar, Hi there, how are you? So henna, the uh, lady down there was uh, offering henna, most of you probably know, but it is like a tattoo Indian uh, paint on your skin that is not permanent, but uh, they can do amazing designs. You definitely have to uh, be very careful, they can really overcharge you. So Tibetan prayer wheels. So, I'm not sure if it's a matter of the power outage. Maybe it's back, I'm seeing lights on. But, uh, it was off all morning. And currently I have only a 1G cell phone connection. I'm not sure if that is just the way that it is up here or if that has anything to do with the power being out, but, uh, with 1G I basically can't do anything including Google Maps and so that is why I'm not quite sure about Dharamkot and Bagsu how far away they are. Okay, now I forget uh, which way I think it's... Oh, maybe like... Oh, here we go. Excellent. Okay. Mystery solved. So Dharamkot is the one that is up, so one mile, and then Bagsu and Waterfall a little less than a mile. So a very pleasant walk. Let's go this way first to Bagsu and then uh, I forget if we can go directly from there to Dharamkot, maybe do that as a loop. That would be a nice hike for the day.
and it is heating up. Let's see, today is October 27th. So, middle of fall, but uh, it is warm. It's got to be like 70, 75 Fahrenheit, something like that. And so there's all kinds of trekking that you can do around here. I'm sure multi-day treks, zip lining. And various other things. So uh, this is a great spot to base yourself for a while. A week or two or the summer. And uh, easily stay busy. Especially if you are into spiritual stuff. Yoga and meditation. There are yoga teacher training classes here. So we have here a green restaurant and I am hungry for lunch. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop now, fuel up, and then do the hike. Not sure what kind of restaurant this is, but I think kind of general stuff with Western uh, options and probably good quality food. So a little bit of a random lunch here. I ordered a shakshuka omelet. Ooh. Okay, that looks good. So I ordered a shakshuka omelet, which is like a Middle Eastern Israeli dish, but uh, this just looks like a regular Indian omelet. And then spinach ravioli, that looks really good. and. A banana lassi yogurt drink.